Did you know that you can get all of the amiibo costumes without having any amiibos in Tears of the Kingdom? You may be asking how. Or you may be asking or saying, I know you can. But anyways, I'm going to be telling you how you can get those. So, in the depths, there are these cool little palace things. I'm not going to be telling you what the reward is. But there's cool little palace things and you can get a piece of amiibo stuff. Anyways, that's what you could be doing. And also, if you never notice that there are things in the sky, you can also get some amiibo stuff there. Also, there's some quests that you could get amiibo things, especially the ones for Big Head Guy. Yep, that's what we're calling it, if you don't know what that is. Anyways, um, also, we got some new things to talk about. Anyways, if you're, you're enjoying Tears of Kingdom, leave the thumbs up. Yeah, I greatly appreciate it. And anyways, so... Tears of the Kingdom is a vast and beautiful game that is wonderful and adventuring. I'm already probably like 50 hours in and I still haven't left the first area. Or I think I got 16 shrines and yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to be on this game for a while. I'm going to try to 100% it. I don't know about you guys. Maybe you guys like to 100% the game. Do you think it would be it would be fun to 100% it? I wonder if there's going to be 900 Korok seeds like Breath of the Wild and 120 shrines. But I think there might be 128 shrines because to fill in the last two hearts. And yeah. So what are your thoughts about Tears of the Kingdom? Leave a comment down below and I would like to... To know how you feel about Tears of the Kingdom. And also, I want for you guys that have stayed around for this long of a video, I wanted to say thank you. And also, I'm gonna give you a little hint about where where to find the a good blade. I'm not gonna be telling you what the blade is, but I'm telling you that this thing is awesome. And you're not gonna want to miss out on it. It is so good, and it's not even that hard to make. So, if you go into Hyrule Castle, you're gonna be finding the Knight Sword. Okay? It. That's not what I wanted. Yeah. Anyways, you're gonna be finding the Knight Sword, and this sword is it doubles the damage when you're on your last heart. So if you're really good at parrying, shield blocking, whatever, um, you shouldn't have a problem with your, your one heart thing. So yeah, you could get that sword. And also to make it severely overpowered, you can go to the, you can either kill a Lionel and it drops some cool and you might want to Use your my imagination and uh, use your weapons, or the dragons. Shoot the dragon somewhere. Not gonna be telling you where, but then it gives you a very powerful blade. Depending on which dragon you shoot, you are gonna be getting that elemental ability. And yeah, so I honestly really like those swords because they have a lot of durability and they're decently easy to make kind of if you have the, the right spawns and they also they last a while I use these swords for everything I normally get down to one heart so I can use the sword at its full potential and then I if I'm fighting a Lionel I will go to one heart and then parry and do everything if you're really good at taking out Lionels this shouldn't be a problem to you so, yeah. Anyways. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, come on back and we'll 
do another video. I also have a video uh, about how to get the Highland Shield. Just hints, no actual gameplay besides the end. If you wanted to watch that, go on ahead. It's right there on the screen. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.